against a warrior. We're going to assume it's control warrior. We're just going to keep the Jaina. Skulking Geist is great to, to get rid of Omega Assembly and Shield Slam in the matchup. Pow. Eh. Anything good? Sick Artificer. Just what I wanted. Is Iliax better than Giggly Inventor? I believe so. I don't think Giggly Inventor is a card you actually just want to be putting into all of your decks anymore, especially uh, given how how much anti-giggling stuff people have these days. No cards in hand. We did get two assemblies and two slams though, which is obviously quite powerful. We do, I think, just want to polymorph this. We can actually win a fatigue game at this point if we can uh, polymorph these. Okay, Dr. Boom early is pretty strong from his perspective. Thunder Ghost is going to be tough for him to beat. If we Lich King now, I mean, we, we still have a Lich King too. We're just going to play a Lich King. He can, um... He can, like, Brawl or Reckless Flurry, because he still has a lot of armor. But I'm just looking at Jaina next turn anyway. And if it, we force him to Reckless Flurry here, that's just fantastic, right? This would be a good time for a yep, there's a Brawl. Only one bad result for me is his guy, die, uh, his guy living. There's the one bad result. It's not actually that bad, even. We have Jaina, and it's a 1-1. One, one. I feel like I don't even want to play my Raven Familiars because of fatigue considerations. cards out of my hand so I can actually play my Cindergosa. Baku, okay. Is it worth polymorphing Baku? I just want to leave Baku here. I don't think I care about Baku. I don't want to play Lich King and just have his Baku plus this be able to kill my Lich King. I think that's pretty weak. I think my Lich King is more important than that. Like if he, if he attacks here with Baku, I get to Flame Strike ping it. Like his Shield Slams are gone, so his only removal basically is Mass Removal or um, like Super Collider or. Okay, there's a Hatchling. And this is what we want to Polymorph. I'm gonna freeze this, I think, because it puts it at five, so I can flame strike ping it next turn. So my opponent is five cards deeper in fatigue than me. Okay. This is the best of his of the uh, the things for him. Delivery drone because it actually gener generates resources. 
with the Omega Assembly's gun, this is like what he needs to lean on to win a long game. So my opponent does still have one Brawl and two Reckless Flurries. Furious Etten. Okay. Hmm. Sure. So he has one delivery droned guy. I've only cast one flame strike and one blizzard, right? So my Alana's pretty small still. MC tech. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a brawl. Okay. I gain five armor. What do you know? <laughs> that artificer really wants to live. Okay. I'm just going to play this Artificer out. Again, I don't want to play this because I don't want to uh, go into Fatigue. I want him to be way behind in Fatigue because that really matters in a, in a game like this. He has Dynamatic. Okay, gems to a Golem. Sure. Um, I need to be playing cards. He hasn't played any of his weapons. Kind of just sitting on this ooze. Could have discovered like some other big mech. I'm just gonna meteor this though. So he has only reckless flurry left for uh, AOE removal. So I may just play Alana when I get an opportunity to just get rid of his armor. Wasn't that a good Alex turn? He can attack with that five nine. I don't want Alex there. Ooh, nullifier. Okay, that's actually kind of scary because he can potentially... I've already used one of my voodoo dolls. I think I want to freeze this and Alex him. Because now, like, if he wants to Reckless Flurry to kill Alex... I mean, he obviously has mechs he can use, but this also gets this guy lower. So he can potentially, like, Blizzard or Dragon's Fury him. Oh, okay, he's got a BGH. Sure, we can Dragon's Fury this now, though. Is fine. Um, Fury is guaranteed to be five or six here. We still have Alana, we still have Lich King, you know, double Astromancer, Syndragosa. We have tons of resources left. Our opponent is way deeper into fatigue. Okay, there's Yelise. So I feel like I pretty much want to... If I Alana here, he pretty much has to Reckless Flurry. I mean, he could theoretically, like, super collide. He's already played both brawls, so... Zacharitis, thanks for the sub. Welcome, welcome. There's a super collider. Mm-hmm. We have the Gluttonous Ooze for this. Alright, MC Tech as well. Sure. All right, that was pretty powerful. Um, I could lose the ability to use Dragon's Fury for for removal. I may just attack face Dragon's Fury. Who's this? My opponent is four cards deeper to fatigue. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's my last spell. I can now play this to get it out of my hand if I want. We'll play Astromancer. And I do want to get this out of my hand so I can play the Cindergosa. That elemental mage, but we do have a Kalamos, it's true. Okay. Piloted Reaper, sure. What'd you get off it? Anything cool? Nothing, okay. Super Collide. Okay.
Do I want a Lich King or Cindergosa first? Eh, well, Cindergosa. Ooh, Lady in White. I can buff my Voodoo Doll, or in my, my Stonehill Defender in my deck. That's it. I'm out of cards. So my opponent does still have Reckless Flurries. Should have killed the one on the left. It's My opponent can choose however they want to attack with Collider. Oh, I guess... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you might be right. If uh, This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It does mean that he'd have to kill this in the middle. That's true, because of where it spawns. Ooh, Zilliax. Okay. That's pretty strong. Silence. Okay. That's fine. Ping this, then flame strike. He's got to kill this, or else he's never using the super collider again. He has his, his Angoro pack. But yeah, I should have killed the one on the left because it would have. Okay, he's gonna reckless flurry for three, and then dynamatic. Okay. So he still has another Reckless Flurry. He's played both of his Dynamatics now. I could just Zilliax attack this and make a guy. But then my opponent can Super Collide. But that's the last use of Super Collider, and then he's going to play Lich King. Yeah. Do I want to play like a Raven in between these? So this guy doesn't get hit? Okay, he has to attack this. I think I do. He has to have something big to kill this. Although I guess he could just he can just Reckless Flurry. But then he's just, you know, fatiguing more. And it doesn't have any armor left. He could Reckless Flurry then play his Angoro pack here. Might be actually be his best plan. But then he like a cheap thing from the drone to actually kill this. Still has an Iron Begal left. Like Reckless Flurry into like a small guy to kill my Water Elemental. But then I still play like Lich King, I mean, and he has to win with whatever's in an Angoro pack, basically. And I, he's way deeper in fatigue than me. Yep, there's a Flurry. He could just attack this if he wants, but... Okay, another Dynamatic! Okay. Well, we'll play Lich King. Cool, another Army of the Dead. My Lich Kings suck. <laughs> Alright, Nullifier. Interesting. I mean, I have, a, I have a Voodoo doll, so... It's not gonna cut it, but... I don't think I play anything else. Well, maybe I do just play a Stonehill, because he can't actually attack, like, meaningfully attack Stonehill into this. Mm, Primordial Drake can be good with the ping. Yep, there's the Angoro pack. You get like a Tarantus and punish me for using that uh, that uh, Voodoo doll there, but it doesn't have nearly enough time. He's just dying to fatigue. One of his remaining cards is Shield Block. I think the other is Owl. Phoenix, sure. Oh, look at this. Look at this Drake. He is fatiguing for a lot. Still has four cards for an Angoro pack. Eh, alright. You got like a Tarum. <laughs> Giggles, okay. So if he even has like something like Tarum, it doesn't matter. He can't actually make any trades. He's gonna take seven from Petit next turn, so he dies to a ping. Okay, Phantom Militia it is. I've never 
never seen her animation. What, was lost can be found again. what is lost can be found again. Okay, cool. But not this game. This game's lost, and he, my opponent will not find it again. So yeah, that game, the Polymorphs on the Dire Horn Hatchlings was my game plan. My game plan was to prevent my opponent from putting extra cards in his deck, and I ended up, after the Skulking Geist took four cards out of my opponent's deck, was just way ahead in fatigue and just had to sit back and, you know, remove my opponent's stuff, play an efficient game, and easily win.